um, my name is Tommy Rowlands. I'm the um, IC coordinator at the Scobro Hudgen in Machen Chef. This is our second visit now to the RSPB Centre as part of the Cobweb project. And what we're doing today is building up on what we've learned from last year's uh, project. So we're really focusing on what the pupils have learned from last year, but also um, going over, for example, the different types of uh, habitats there is and really getting more to grips with the app. Ooh, yeah, uh, comparing to last year, what the uh, kids have been doing is different habitats this year. So we'll go into the, we've been to the pond, doing a few samples there using the app. We're now um, sampling the grasslands, and then we're off to the peat bog after that. Um, the hope today is that the pupils will be able to use the learning they've done on last year, use the learning they've done in the classroom, but also. Um, be able to use the app and it's a bit of a cross-curricular approach where pupils learn about the um, um, validation, they learn about the use of GPS technology in order to validate the data and make sure the data is accurate as it can be. But obviously and you'll go through the process with the app in exactly the same way. It's a yellow bag. <laughs> yellow bag. <laughs> oh, you had butterfly though. Did you put but was it butterfly yeah, I put on moth on yeah. 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 I think that's one of the good things about the Cobweb app. It means that the pupils get a first-hand approach to using the app, but also in, in a way of uh, recording scientific data in, in, in a real environment. And it's really good that we've got that opportunity to work with Cobweb and to really enhance the learning that we have at Scobro Hudgen.